Um, so yeah, okay, so how do you connect them together? Well, um, you always connect the outlet of one object, which uh, the outlets are always on the bottom of the object, the inlets are always on the top of the object, and you always connect downwards, so you always connect an outlet of an object to the inlet of another. Okay, so you, you go from bottom to the top. Um, and if I were to, I mean, that's actually, I wouldn't necessarily do that, but if I were to go from the outlet to an inlet, an outlet to an inlet, like that. Now, um, <clears throat> in terms of, you know, sort of just getting familiar with um, the program and the interface, uh, you would do a lot worse than to just copy out a bunch of patches. Um, as you will have the opportunity to do from the exercises I've set. Um, a lot of the kind of just the, 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 the mechanics of just connecting things up um, will probably seem a little bit you know, clumsy at first and it really is just a matter of doing it again and again and again and building lots of patches and you will develop a fluency um, which is very valuable and the quicker you get that fluency um, the, uh, the less frustrating you will find it um, in terms of just sort of having to sort of connect things up. Um, so yeah, do do it lots. Uh, practice, practice, practice. Um, and you'll get quicker at, at sort of connecting things up and, and so on. Right. Uh, yeah, so that's the, the, that's sort of a, a, the main um, object type. Um, and then if I double click again, uh, you will, and we'll, I'll have a look at a couple of other objects. Um, the next one along is a message box, uh, which again is an object, but it looks a little different. You'll see it's, it's kind of grayed um, object rather than having that kind of uh, the outline with a white interior. Uh, it's grey all over. Now in this object you can put in anything you like. Again, if you've watched the video you will see that they did that. So I can put in... Um, uh, rubber, dobber. Um, do. Uh, and again, once I um, click outside the object, it, I suppose it initialises, um, so I can't edit it. If I want to edit it, then I go in, click it again, in fact, click, double click it, and the whole thing um, sort of highlights, and it's just like you know editing text in a word processor, basically. Um, so I click at the end, and I can add things to that. Um, if I connect, once again I connect the out, but the outlet, so that's bottom of the object, to the top of another object. Um, and, uh, and now if I, if I lock the patch, what I should perhaps have said is that none of these objects at the moment are going to do anything because I've got no way of telling them to start doing what they do, but we'll do that in a minute. Um, <clears throat> but this one here uh, becomes a button. Like I say, some of, many of the objects in that palette that I showed you uh, are uh, graphical user interface objects. So in this case, if I click on the this which has become a button, you'll see that um, the from over here uh, the that message comes up. So what's happened is that when I clicked it, the message was sent along this line or to the print object, and the print object sent it to the max window to be printed out. And if I did that again, if I kept cl clicking it, then it keeps printing to the to the max window. Um, so that's a message box, um, and what it has sent in this instance is a list um, of uh, of items, I suppose. In that, it's still a single message. We still refer to it as a message, um, and but but it, con it consists of a series of items, and those items are separated by spaces. So we're talking about a list here, and we'll talk about various different types of um, messages as as we go on. So unlock the patch again, and uh, double click again. Now comment box we won't talk too much about at the moment. This is for labelling the patch, and in fact you can't really interact with it. It's about the only other object aside from this main object that you can't really interact with in here. Or maybe there are a couple of others. Um, but that is for really so that you can you can put comments in your um, in your uh, programs so that you know not only can other people work out what on earth it was you were trying to do but you can when you return to your patch and say 
three weeks time and have forgotten what on earth you did uh, so that's a useful object to have the button object again click on that one and it pops up it looks like that uh, once again it's another kind of uh, it's a it's, well it's a um, another button object like this one except that this one when you when you click it it sends another mess a different type of message so once again I connect the, the outlet to an inlet lock the patch and this time I click it and it flashes um, and we get a bang message that pops up in the max window I'll do that again click it and we get a bang message again um, this is a different type of message from um, Max MSP um, or that, that operates in Max MSP and this one uh, is well we'll call it a kind of do whatever it is you do message um, which perhaps won't make an awful, an, awful, yeah, an awful lot of sense at the moment but basically it means that when you send the message to um, whatever object is receiving it that object will um, perform whatever task it is designed to do so in this case the print object is designed to print so it prints a bang um, uh, or sort of it's supposed to print the incoming message which it has done if I would send a bang message to a counter object then that counter object would start doing whatever it is it does which is to count um, we will come back to that in due course but just to let you know that that is kind of how it works unlock so two types of messages so far one is a list object which we got from here and we have a bang message sorry uh, yeah we have a list message that that was sent from here we have a bang message that was sent from here 